Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of statistics. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the mean deviation about the median for the numbers arranged in ascending order is 6, so we have been given mean deviation about the median that is given to us as 6 and the list of numbers that we have been given here is 357, 2k, 12, 16, 21, 24. So we have been given this list and the further question tells us if the mean deviation about median for this number is 6, we have been asked to figure out the answer for the median here. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are 11.5, 10.5, 12, and 11. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. So if I try to solve this question further, let's see how to do it. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well. Because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make solutions as easy as possible. So let's see. So I have been given the list of terms and when I have the list of terms with me, I understand that the median for this list basically has to be nothing but average of these two central terms because there are eight terms in total. So if I have these two central terms and if I take the average of them, I get 2k plus 12 divided by 2. So 2k divided by 2, I get k and 12 divided by 2, I get 6. So I get the median k plus 6. Now once I have that with me, I have my list of terms as 3, 5, 7, 2k, 12, 16, 21, 24. So once I have this terms list here with me, if I find the deviation of that about the mean, about the median, not mean. So we are finding the deviation about the median. And we know whenever you want to find the deviation, deviation is nothing but absolute value of the difference of these terms. So when I have to find absolute value of the difference of the terms, I know k plus 6 has to be somewhere between 2k and 12 because it's the median of this two list median of these two numbers so k plus 6 has to be between them so k plus 6 is greater than all of these terms so to find the deviation i will just do k plus 6 minus the term everywhere so from k plus 6 i'm subtracting all the terms but for the next four terms, I understand these terms are bigger than your median. So in that case, you have to just do the opposite to find the deviation because you want absolute deviation. So 12 minus k plus 6, 16 minus k plus 6, 21 minus k plus 6, and 24 minus k plus 6. So from here, if I'm figuring out the deviations, let's see what I get. So I get k plus 3, k plus 1 k minus 1, 6 minus k, 12 minus 6, so 6 minus k again, 16 minus 6, so 10 minus k, 15 minus k, and 18 minus k. So I have this terms with me. Now once I have this terms with me, if I figure out the mean of the deviations that we have about the median, so mean deviation about median that will become basically sum of all of them so k plus 3 k plus 1 k minus 1 6 minus k 6 minus k 10 minus k 15 minus k 
18 minus 8 divided by 8, which it's given to us in the question as mean deviation about the median is 6. So, 6. So, what you get from here is k and minus k gets cancelled, k and minus k gets cancelled, k and minus k gets cancelled. So, you're left with minus k minus k, which is minus 2 divided by 8 equals 6. And the terms that I have here is 3, 1, 4, minus 1, 3, plus 6, 9, 9 plus 6, 15, 15 plus 10, 25, 40, 58. So you get 58. So from here, if I see, I get 58 minus 2k equals 48. So 2k is 10, k is 5. So I get the understanding that k is equals to 5 here. And once I get k equals 5, this term basically becomes 2 into 5, which is 10. So once I have the term as 10, I have to just figure out the median. So median is 10 plus 12 divided by 2. That is 11. So I get the answer for the question that matches with option D. So D becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of statistics to find median and how to find the deviation about mean, median, anything that is given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.